friends, I'm going to show you guys how I make my sugared cranberries that I always make for um, during the holidays. We are having our Thanksgiving get together with our friends and our family. And I went ahead and started it. So this is two bags of fresh cranberries. I just got one at my local grocery store. It was in this bag and um, each bag is 12 ounces. So I am making three batch. So if you are going to just make one batch, um, it is going to call for two cups of the fresh cranberries, two cups of water, and then two cups of sugar. Then you're going to get the water and the sugar, and then you're going to simmer it over um, the hot stove. Do not let it boil, just hot simmer, because if you allow it to boil, it may be too hot and the cranberries may pop. So, all right, how you guys are seeing my cranberries is that I soaked it in a little bit, just a little bit of vinegar and mostly water. I put about maybe two, uh, two tablespoons of vinegar in here and soaked it for a good maybe 30 minutes. And then this card, the ones that are really soft, like this one right here, so I discarded that. And it's best to just go with a handful, just a little bit and so you can feel it and discard the, um, the soft ones. All right, so I went ahead and placed my um, cranberries onto a um, medium-sized saucepan. Again, this is three batches. And then here is my sugar and water mixture that I went ahead and simmered, not to a boiling point. Now pour it over. There we go. And this one is going to um, steep overnight for like eight hours. Now what I'm going to do is drain the cranberries, getting rid of the liquid, and then I'm not going to throw the liquid away. The liquid is a great way to, um, to reuse. It's just basically a cranberry sugared water, and you guys can use this for like a cranberry mojito or other, um, other drinks that um, that requires like a cranberry taste to it so it's really really good um, I keep it in the refrigerator for just a little bit and then you're going to get super fine sugar so I have my super fine sugar here I keep it in my mason jar and you don't need to buy super fine sugar what I do with my regular white sugar is I put it into the food processor and then I just pulse it um, a few times and then you get this um, fine mixture right here instead of paying the extra money for a super fine sugar you're gonna get per one batch and again this is three batches per one batch you are going to need three quarter cup of super fine sugar put it into a shallow dish like this one and spread it out and then once your cranberries is dry you're gonna spread the cranberries in here and then you're going to cover it with the sugar and because you steep the cranberries over that um, water and sugar mixture that was um, simmering now it's actually really soft with just the right pop it gives you that pop when you bite into it it's amazing okay so i'm gonna go ahead and spread it out and go ahead and even it out and as you guys can see starting to get covered then I'll just get a spoon and just cover up the cranberries. So you're going to go ahead and put it into a paper towel like this. And let it sit for at least an hour before serving it. And then put it into a nice dish and you're ready to serve it for your party. Alright friends, I went ahead and placed it um, on a paper towel uh, cookie sheet. So once they're all in there, just basically give it a few shake and roll to get rid of all the excess uh, sugar and then just let it let it sit for at least an hour and that's it it's ready for your party